Hello, this is a quick tutorial on how to create a Hugging Face token and use it in Google Colab. You have to have a Hugging Face account. This is my account. You click on your profile, go to your setting, and here on the left you see access tokens, and then here on the right you see create new token. Create new token, give it a name. I'm going to give it demo token. And for this example, I'm using some basic access. Um, and if you wanted to explore more options, you can um, research more and work on that. And for this example, I'm just going to um, do the basics. So give it a name, uh, pick the options you need in terms of read and write and other features and uh, click create token um, do not forget to copy your token here it has to be copied and it's done for me now i'm going to google colab i have a demo notebook here on the left you see a sign that uh, is like a key create on the key you see that i have several tokens i'm using i'm gonna uh, add a new secret and here the name I give it, it can be any name. So this is going to be uh, HF Hugging Face uh, Demo. That's the name I'm giving here. It doesn't have to match as you can imagine. So I'm going to control V my token here, click anywhere. And then my token is saved as a secret. If I wanted the token to be available on this notebook or any other notebook, I have to make it available. Um, also, if you scroll down, this is the code you need uh, to actually have access to the token. You control V the code onto your collab uh, code cell and make sure this name matches the name you have given to your token. I gave the name HF underscore demo. I'm keep in mind that Python is case sensitive. I usually ask my students to save the token in a variable. So I would call it HF demo um, and I save it in that variable. So anytime during my collab, if I need the token, I'm going to use HF demo. Here, run this cell and it asks uh, for me to close one of the um, notebooks that I have. Too many notebooks open or heavy notebooks open. This one runs and then if you want to print it as a way to test it you see that your um, variable now has the value of your token that will stay hidden or secret uh, from the eyes of the whoever sees your notebook all right that's it happy coding